Coral reefs are in decline worldwide, and people are scrambling to do what they can to save them. One of the big problems with understanding coral reefs is that they're very difficult to measure and monitor using field techniques like diving operations. It ends up being that we can only see small bits of the reef at a time when we're doing those traditional approaches. What we're trying to do is revolutionize the way that corals are being studied. And we're doing that using high-tech methods that haven't been used before. What's going on here is that the Dominican Republic government has combined forces with a group of hotels and conservation NGOs to generate and then manage a new marine sanctuary, one of the largest in the Caribbean. And this new marine sanctuary is going to be critical for conserving remaining corals in this region. We're deploying the Carnegie Urban Observatory to generate these new maps that will be essential to the new management plan for this marine sanctuary. The Carnegie Airborne Observatory is our airborne laboratory that allows us to measure coral reefs in unprecedented detail. With the CAO, we're able to fly over a coral reef and in one day of flying get far more data than you could get in a lifetime diving. From these overflights, we're able to understand the depth of the seawater where these corals are, what their habitat is like. We're also able to understand something about the species composition, whether they're healthy or whether they're sick, literally if they're diseased, all from the instrumentation on board the plane. After we fly, we turn the data that we collect into maps. So these are real high-tech images and maps that haven't been available until now. The coral reefs around the Dominican Republic are under extreme pressure from coastal development and the pollution and sedimentation that that generates, overfishing, which is generating a shift in the ecosystem and the biodiversity, and then tourism actually is a major stress on the system in terms of swimmers, boats, anchors, and the kind of degradation that that can generate when there's such mass tourism like we're seeing in the Dominican Republic today. The maps we're making are critical to the marine conservation and planning process. They're, they will allow managers to decide where to put different activities in the new sanctuary. That would include uh, where people can do scuba diving, where they can take their boats, where fishing is allowed and where fishing is not allowed. All of these activities need management in order to sustain the reef system. And so our maps are gonna be key to that process. One of the great uses of our maps is in combination with the expanding effort in coral nurseries. People are growing corals on land and in the sea to replace and to outplant different areas of reef. Our maps allow the coral nursery specialists to decide where to put the outplantings of these corals so that they have the best chance of surviving and generating new reefs. Without our maps, right now they're just putting them out there somewhat blindly. And so we think that our technology and science and the coral nursery and restoration science are coming together here in the Dominican Republic for the first time to generate these new capabilities. We want to make our science and technology possible anywhere on the planet for coral reefs. And the Reefscape project that I lead is really an effort to take what we're doing and learning here in the Caribbean to the global scale. And I hope doing that will generate much more marine conservation in the decades to come.